Kim back for uh, round, let me see, round one was laying down the citrus salt papers and, and round two was adding some elements, some collage elements onto the papers that I liked. Um, I have a couple that are pieces I had done earlier and I've gone back and covered things up and I'm adding them into this group. I have 21 pieces and um, you can't see them all in this shot, but I just wanted to kind of go over some of the things I've done. Round one was citrus salt papers. Then adding um, elements, uh, collage elements that I kind of liked. Um, and then I wanted to add a few more things. I'm still not sure how these are gonna end up or how I'm gonna add paint or if I'm even going to add paint to these. I did come in and, and kind of like a little assembly line um, that I mentioned before, I first of all brought out some of my favorite uh, napkins that have a polka dot and a stripe that I like. I have this napkin in three different colors. I have this uh, teal, I have it in black, and let's see if I have any of my green out here. I also have it in a green. So um, I went through and each piece got a little bit of that added. I've got the black polka dot, black polka dot here, the green polka dot, black polka dot. Um, even if I just added a couple little dots um, of the polka dots, I did that. Here, I've added the stripe in. So each piece got, except for this one, still don't know what I'm doing with this one. Like it the way it is, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing. But each and every piece got a little bit of the polka dots. And sometimes the polka dots end up being squares. I paint around them and make them, give them a different shape. So um, I first did that, then I came back through with my washi tape. And I don't use washi tape very often because uh, I don't trust that it's gonna stick down. But I do have one that I really love and it's this little skinny black and white line, just a little black and white check. I love this. And as you can see, I'm down almost to the very end. But in almost every piece, I added a line of the washi tape. It just looks really cool. I also, on many of the pieces, added a little bit of of paint and went through and scratched into it. Um, but that little piece of washi tape is in almost every piece. Um, just because I like the continuity. Here again is the white paint with the stripe through it. So, um, yeah, they almost all got that in some way or another. I mean, th this is a, a completed piece, but I'm not gonna let it be. I'm gonna do something else to it. I'm not sure what. Um, and, and that little line of the washi tape just kind of finished, you know, added a line, added some structure to it. So, and I actually think this piece goes more like this with the cat, got my polka dots. Um, so that was the napkins, the washi tape. I came back also with my oil pastels, my water soluble oil pastels. And I like, these are really great for, let me find my black one. I can come in and add a little bit of shadowing and just grab a, damp paintbrush and kind of blend that in. I, I love these water uh, soluble um, oil pastels. It's kind of an oxymoron that, that that's what they're called, but I like that I can manipulate and add, add some shadows, add some uh, colors, color washes to them. Let me see, find my blue paper towels. And I like that, just that shadow line that added, add some depth to it. So I used these for that. And a matter of fact, I think 
think I could probably add a little bit of that onto this in maybe a color. Let's see, rather than black, I do like this rusty color. And these are really great for when you just want to add um, a tint in without getting too carried away. And if you decide you don't like it, you can go ahead and just wipe it right off. It's water soluble. Kind of like that. Let me see what other colors I have here. I also have this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that. Oh yeah, I kind of do. It pulls in this green over here. And, and these are just subtle little things that you can, um, that I'm doing to add just a little bit more color to this, a little bit more, to just add more. Let me see, I was also using that over here. So I do like that. I also, let's not, I never forget my um, Stabilo pencils. And these are just so great for just adding in a little bit of detail. And again, the reason that I love these guys so much is because I can kind of make them a little bit more watercolory than just a plain black line. And I can make part of it completely disappear if I want. I have a little bit more control over this. Adds a little bit of fun detail. And I love that I can get a really, really sharp uh, edge on these. A really sharp line. And again, watercolory. I love that. I love that effect. So uh, that's my Stabilo and the water soluble, um, well, pastels. Now, now this I've come in and I've covered things up with this, this creamy color. And I think I might want to cover a little bit more. See, this has actually got a little bit of a, a pink tint to it. And I, I like just layering up um, my, my uh, negative space areas. You know, it's just cream, but now I'm adding another color on top of that. And I may even add another color on top of this and just build it up. And I always like to paint around things and let some things show through. I like these little marks right here, so I kind of want to let them stay in the picture for right now. And I don't know that I need all this busyness going on. So I may just paint right over that. Make it just a little less busy. I 
I like keeping that because it, it, it uh, repeats the circles I have going in there and adds a little musical note in it. So I want to keep that going. But, um, you know, process of elimination is good. Now, I might come over this one more time. And this is kind of a pinky color. I can either let this dry and go back over it with a uh, water-soluble oil pastel and recolor it. But right now, I think I am... I think I'm liking it. Let's get that guy out of the way. Uh, this one, I might take a little bit of this color and work it in here. Just to lighten the piece up a bit. It's all a process. That's the whole point of breaking this, these all down into steps that you can see um, how I do it on these thicker boards. I love to do the sides and kind of make them a little art piece, part of the art piece as well, instead of just sides. They have a lot of little words in here that, that uh, are peeking through, which is kind of fun to do, when, you, especially when you're working on smaller pieces. Okay, we got that guy, and I have another one over here. I think I'll do the same thing. Um, I'm kind of liking this pink. So in this, in this group, I have the darker pieces, and I've got some pieces here that are gonna be a little bit lighter and airier. I think I might leave that like that for right now until I decide otherwise. But the, the whole point is I'm just kind of grabbing pieces and working quickly on them. So I'm not spending too much time and getting too caught up in the detail of it. Because that will come uh, when I do the final pass and you will have to wait for that for next week. Uh, because that is how I'm doing this. I'm making you wait until I get the, the whole, the whole set done. Let me get rid of that. And, um, there you go. So I've got my, my citrus salt papers. I've got my collage is the next step. My next step was going in and adding washi tape, adding the Kleenex uh, polka dots, touching some up with paint. And um, I'm going to go through and do that to all of them. And when you come back next week for the final touches, we'll see where I take it from there to finish things off. So thanks for watching. And um, I hope you're, you're able to follow along on the steps that I'm doing here. And um, I'll be back next week and show you the end results. So thanks. Bye.